It is Arika Misha, and yes, I am in the kitchen cooking it up. All right, and as you guys can see, I have, if you guys have not seen my video, uh, by now you should have seen my um, unboxing video. But anyway, y'all, uh, as you guys can see, I do have some new cookware, and this is my Pioneer Woman cookware. Uh, I got a couple different Pioneer Woman sets for my birthday. Um, if you guys have not seen the video already, um, I got a couple things. So I just wanted to show y'all real quick how beautiful these Pioneer Woman dishes are. They are gorgeous. I love Pioneer Woman. Um, she is a cook on the Cookie Network. So make sure y'all go check out. Hey, shots out. All right. Anyway, y'all. So what we cooking up today? Nice, quick, easy meal. Y'all know how I do it. Nice, quick, easy meal. Today we will be cooking mushroom pork chops and y'all already know your girl been having the pork chops marinating overnight let me see let me get y'all in the right light okay all right mushroom pork chops yes marinating all night it is the thin pork chops not the thick ones i like using the thin uh pork chop for this recipe and i have my rice let me go get it because i've already got my water boiling over here i'm telling y'all i'm ready this morning i am ready and i'm using the minute white rice this is my quick ready five minute i know y'all don't see me cook this before on my channel quick five minute rice boil your water pour your rice in cover it up cut take it away from the heat cover it up let it sit for five minutes your rice done in five minutes i'm telling y'all five minute rice and it tastes just as good all right so i got my water boiling over there so it is going to be we are cooking uh, mushroom pork chops, and I'm going to put the pork chops in my pans here. Take y'all back down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the pork chops in my pans here. We're gonna, I'm going to put them in the oven. Let me get my spray. All right. My water is boiling over here. I'm going to spray the bottom of my pan so my meat don't stick. Y'all know I use my old faithful Publix canola oil spray. All right, water is boiling over here. I'm jumping right into it this morning, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me take y'all around. Hold on. Take y'all around. Y'all see I got my rice already boiling over here. It's going to be a quick video because we is doing it up. Doing it up. I'm jumping right into it today. We're not playing no games. All right, so I got four cups of water in here. So I'm going to add four cups of rice. Three, four. It's so easy, y'all. So easy. Hold on. Hold on, you all. Hold on. Hold on. Get y'all zoomed into that rice a little better. Okay. All right. Stir my rice up. Okay. Cut my stove off. I'm going to put a little salt in my rice. Just a little. Just a little bit of salt in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my parsley flakes in too. Yep, get those parsley flakes in there. Because this rice is... Ooh, sorry y'all. This rice is going to be done in like two seconds. Well, five minutes. All right, we got our parsley all stirred up nice in there. Okay. All right. Put our top on and move it away from the heat. Put my timer on for five minutes. I think I'm going to use the microwave timer for five minutes. Okay. Got my timer going on my microwave for five minutes. And that rice will be done. That rice will be done. See, I take it off the heat, put it on the side over there. In five minutes, the rice will be done. I think basically how it works is the rice is already done. And then when you add the, um, when you, the water gets boiling and you add the rice to the water, it just softens the rice up. 
I think that's how that works because five minute rice, yeah. All right, let's go back over here to our port shops. Make sure y'all can see, make sure y'all got a good view. Zoom y'all back out. Okay. Oh, did I show y'all? Let me show y'all. The I've got the Publix um, cream of mushroom condensed soup. I got the creamy one, not the ones with the mushrooms in it. Cause I, I don't like the big mushrooms sitting all out. I mean, they look pretty, but we don't even like mushrooms like this. So this way, you know, you got the little tiny pieces of mushrooms in there, child. So that's like we'll do that later but let's go ahead let's get our pork chops panned up i've already got my oven preheated to 350 so i'm gonna go ahead and get this pork chop panned up and i knew i wasn't gonna be able to fit hold on i thought y'all could see hold on and i knew i wasn't gonna be able to fit um all this pork chop in this in these two uh, one pan so that's why i have my second pan because i knew these pork chops were pretty big so yeah, these pork chops are pretty big. Okay. I'm gonna have to squeeze one in over here. I have to squeeze a pork chop over here. Alright, let's see. Okay, alright, yeah, that should work. And I got a little piece right here. Now, when this little piece cook, I'm going to eat that. Just so y'all know, when that little piece cook, I'm going to eat it up. That's my little, that's my little taste testing piece right there. So, all right. We got our pork chops all, all panned up. Wash my hands real quick. All right, I told y'all, we getting it done today. We getting it done quick and easy. So, I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'm going to spray the top of these pork chops. So, the, uh, spray the top of my pork chops. So, you know, that can help the pork chops cook. And also, I'm going to add, going to add some water to my pans. So I can create a little steam and help the pork chops cook. Just putting a little water at the bottom of my pan. Just a little bit of water. Let me see. Just put a little water in the bottom. See that water is going to create steam and help my pork chop cook. <clears throat> Alright, get my water moved around there. I'm going to put a little bit more over here. And a little bit more over here. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I was thinking about covering up, but you know what? These pork chops are too thin. I'm not gonna cover these up. They're not thick pork chops. So, all right, y'all. See how I got them? I panned them up. Got the pork chops in the pan. All nicely panned up. Easy. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. I'm gonna put them, it's already, my oven's already preheated, 350 degrees. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna put them in there for about, these thin pork chops, I'll put them in there about 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll check on them. So, all right, looks like the rice finna be done, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me go ahead and throw these in the oven real quick. Ooh, that stove is hot. pork chops in the oven okay now let's go over here because our timer finna go off on the rice and let me show y'all that rice it's been five minutes already y'all it's been five minutes already let me see my timer up here in the microwave y'all see only got like four seconds left timer finna go off and i'm gonna show y'all that rice okay child okay all right now it's been five minutes let me show y'all the rice Look at the rice, y'all. Let me move it up. Hot. That joker is hot. Look at the rice, y'all. Five-minute rice. Y'all can play and take all day. I ain't doing it. 
I ain't doing it because I ain't got all day to be in this kitchen. Five minute rice. Y'all look at that. Watch this. Watch this. Five minute rice. Done. Rice done. Look at that rice. Taking y'all in. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Got my parsley already in the rice. Look at that. Done. My rice done. The rice was done before we put the meat in the oven. Hey, I'm just trying to help y'all out because I'm telling y'all I be cooking it up, but I won't be in here all day. So, all right. So, we got our pork chops in the oven. Uh, rice already done. Y'all already see the rice. So, all right. When I come back, I'll be showing y'all the uh, grilled pork chops. When I take them out of the oven, I'm going to put my cream of mushroom over the uh, pork chops and I'm going to put them back in the oven. So, I'll be back to show y'all that. All right, guys. Our grilled pork chops are all nice and done. So what I did with my cream of mushroom, all I did was just put it in a little small pot, added a, okay timer. Anyway, so I just put my cream of mushroom in a pot, in a small pot, added a little season, you know, season it up with the little garlic, all that good stuff, however you want to season it up. So that's what I did, threw a little parsley in there, <clears throat> excuse me, got it all nicely seasoned up, and I'm just going to pour it over my pork chops and put my pork chops back in the oven. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see better. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Zoom y'all in a little better so y'all can see how I'm doing this. I'm just pouring some over the pork chop, just like that. Pouring it over the pork chop. Nothing fancy. Just pour it over your pork chop. Just like that. <clears throat> and I just take my fork and I just spread it over my pork chop. Spread it all over the pork chop like that. Oh yeah. I'm ready to eat right now. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Oh that's some good eating right there. Nice quick easy meal. Oh wee. Nice. I just take my fork and I just spread it over the pork chop like that. Rinse that off. Put that in the sink. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can get a real good look at it. Show y'all how it's looking right now. Looking delicious. And you guys will see when I put it back in the oven. Oh, that looks so good. When I put it back in the oven, let me bring y'all out. And I tell you, man, my Pioneer Woman um, ceramic pans are beautiful. They are so colorful. I love it, especially when you're cooking. So, all right, I'm going to stick these back in the oven, and I'll be back with the grand finale. All right, I'm back with the grand finale. Our cream of mushroom pork chops. They look amazing. They look amazing. It's a quick, easy meal. Grill your pork chops, pour your cream of mushroom over your pork chops, put it back in the oven about 10 minutes. Cream of mushroom pork chops. I've got my rice already put in the, my Tupperware over there. So, all right, y'all. Y'all see me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.